So, uh, is anyone coming, sir? Uh, yes, sir. Aditya will join. Darshan will also join. Okay. Money won't be joining. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah, so there. Uh, so we'll be talking this session about the particles, uh, Niagara uh, effects inside this. Okay, so these are the topics which we'll be covering: cascade particle system, which is old uh, particle system, and uh, Niagara particle. This is the two things which we'll uh, cover today. <laughs> Okay, so in this, uh, if I just open any of the file, there are certain particles over here. So if I just go to the starter content, inside starter content, we have certain particles. So if I open that, so here we have certain uh, particles over here, which I can use it. Uh, and if you want to see the properties of that, we can just check the properties of that also. So if I just want to use this fire and uh, just drag and drop and check inside the scene. So if I just click it and drag and drop, so we have this fire system. And when you double click on this, uh, it will open that uh, fire over here. So these are the properties of that. So if you want to switch on this, uh, we can switch on all these elements over here. So there are some of the elements were off uh, inside this. Uh, if I just save now and just close that, now I can see this. So this is having the fire system over here. So you want to check any time over here. So if I just double click. So these are the things which are made up, made the fire over here. So if I just want to drag and bring this down. Okay, so we have the flames over here. Uh, we have uh, the smoke. So these are the different particle system which has been created. So inside this, if you just switch off this flame, so you can see only the particle and smoke. Each of these are different. So anytime you want to copy also, we can copy from this, uh, any of these eff effects. So these are the smoke and this is the embers, the particles which you require. And there is some kind of sparks also. So, and there is distortion also, so this is, uh, which is there. So we require all these things to create the fire uh, effect over here. So inside this, emitter each and every emitter there is certain properties of that so if I just just go over here and I can see this is, this is the properties of the particles over here so emitter uh, emitter color uh, so if you just select any of this just double click and double click over here and it will open the properties of that over here so we can just see that emitter properties is over here uh, which is in this place and where the origin of this so at present it is at zero so you can change the origin of that so it will uh, shift the position of that so this is the position so if you want to change the rotation of that you have the rotation uh, properties of that object and here uh, if i just come down so you can just see that loop so if you want that same thing to loop uh, you have this looping animation and this is the duration of that emitter So it uh, quickly dies off. So if I just make it around 5, so it will there for the longer duration, that particular uh, emission over here. So and here we also have the delay of that emitter delay. So if you want to adjust the delay by 10. So now we can just see that there is uh, no uh, emitter over here. So after that 10 delay, if I just give 1. So each of this we can change it over here and check it so how much delay you want in the fire how much delay you want on this particles so by default it was zero so I just keep it zero and this is what it is there so any of this attribute you want to change uh, you can change it inside this we have blending modes and uh, these are the normals so if I just come up over here uh, again we can just see this again there is certain materials which has been applied to this okay so all this are like a sprite materials so if I just click on this inside my content browser yeah, so this is what the fire uh, material is uh, it over here so if I just double click on this 
you can just see that this is what we have this material okay so this is the texture what we have and this is the uh, fire what we have this over here and it is connected to different nodes and uh, one will go to the opacity of that layer and when we'll go to the emission of that so so this is what emissive color we have to do inside this particular fire and here we have to also put inside the opacity because we need the transparency inside the fire so that's why we have this transparency also uh, inside the fire over here and there are two maps over here so you can just see this is one map this is the fire map and uh, this is over here which is you can see this so this is the fire map which we have and this is the transparency map so uh, we need certain transparency also inside this and it is like a some kind of sprite sheet over here so this is what we have the sprite sheet and it will play uh, every frame uh, by frame so how this will be at the starting and both the things are like sprite uh, sheets we call it a stream sheet so you can just see that uh, it will have uh, all of this uh, frame by frame over here and we also have this one map so it will take that as a uh, sequence and it will play so this is like all the animation is stored inside this particular uh, sheet okay so that is the texture which will be there for that particular uh, object so just close now so for each of this so if you want to create the smoke also uh, there will be certain uh, properties for that if I just double click on this and you go for this material yeah so here instead of that red uh, that a uh, particle fire we have this smoke and we also have this transparency map here so this is what we have the transparency map also uh, which is uh, placed over here so we can place any of this map suppose if you want to replace this map with some other map over here that also can be done uh, so uh, we to get a different result we can just remove this and we can add a different map for this whole uh, setup or so this is what material will be there for this and we have this small small particles uh, which has which is over here so this particles and if I just double click on this emitter uh, particles over here so for this you can just see that it is like a small uh, circular shape over here and that will also go into the emission so if I just double click so it's all depend on the material how it is going it and this is the emissive color and here you can just see that this is gone to radial gradient uh, over here okay so uh, from this particle color it is directly going to this emissive color if I just double click on this particle color you can just uh, see that what is the particle color which we have it so it will take from this uh, data and for the opacity we have different gradient map for this so so that's why it is like uh, a circular shape and we have this transparency over there and this is what this gradient is going to do for me so I can just see that so this is what the radial gradient is doing if I just remove that So now it is not having any kind of transparency for that particular uh, object. So you need to add this to get the transparency for that layer. Let's bring this up. And now we have the transparency also uh, inside this. So that depends on the transparency of this layer. And this is the map. So if you just disconnect that, so shift and uh, like alt and click. Now it is disconnected. It becomes totally transparent only this part we can just see it over here so we need to connect that color so I'll just connect it to this and now we'll have that color also inside so this is what about the particles what we have uh, so I just want to save that and uh, so this is the so if you want to create any of your own particles also over here so uh, you can just right click create a new particle sprite emitter so we can just add that as so so now it has been added to the scene you can just see that it is also having certain maps over here uh, and it is flowing like this so this is by default there is certain map uh, which will come on the top of it and we can just see uh, that maps over here suppose if i just go to that
properties of that right so double click on this and it goes to the property of that uh, particular material so there are different properties like lifespan uh, how much time that uh, particle should be alive so if you just uh, see on the left side you can just see there are different properties of that uh, there is alpha source also for this particular particle so let's bring that over here uh, material emitter origin emitter rotation so all this we can just control it over here uh, so how you want the particle to be killed uh, over here so you want to switch on this you can just switch on that particle attributes also or you want to add some map uh, you can also add certain maps over here so you can go to the content browser and here we can just see that there are different maps so if you want to load any one of this also uh, we can just try loading it over here so if i just check that it will be square and we need to also add the transparency map also for this so to do that so these are the different maps so any of the map you feel that you want to add to that you can just click and drag into that okay so now it is becoming totally uh, field because there is no uh, transparency inside this particular material so you need to open that material it will be square so open that material and you should have the transparency also uh, for that okay so by default it is one sprite and which is taking all this uh, to that so that is the reason uh, it doesn't have any kind of transparency now so we can just see this this is the problem which is happening so you require a transparency map also so if i just switch it off so anytime you don't want any of this you can just switch it off over here so this is one thing which you can enable or disable so if you want that and if i just click on this property of this is the lifetime so if i just switch on and here we have maximum and minimum lifetime so if i just reduce that so this is the properties of the uh, lifetime properties of the particles so how much time the particle should be alive so now it is there for very less time so if you want to alive make it alive for longer time you can increase the duration of this okay so we can add that so uh, life color over life so how you want to add that so this is what it is there so uh, we can also add that particular attribute so how it should change the color uh, over the life so if i open that and if i just open it over here so here we have different properties of that so uh, we can open the constant curve is on so, so we can change this uh, color of that uh, over the life as it goes uh, distribution of that uh, we can just change it so we can just remove now so now since we have added that material it is taking life okay so if you just want to add a different material so uh, let's double click on this and we have this particular plain material you want to add if you want to remove that shift alt and click and now it will be removed now it is just a black color uh, over there so if you just apply that you see that there is no texture which is being applied to that and it becomes totally black okay so if you have any material for that uh, and you want to apply that material also so you can also check from the content browser so if you just go for the content browser go for the materials or want to search for some kind of textured uh, object over here we can just search for that so go for the textures and we have certain textures also over here so if you want to use this I can use that as a texture or you want to use that as an explosion over here so let's try this explosion into this okay so uh, we are just applying for that we need to also apply for uh, the opacity and different maps so let's see this how it works over here and we didn't apply that so this is how it is will be taking now it is not taking as a sprite uh, over here so it is directly taking the same map overall uh, all the places so we don't want that to happen uh, so we can just apply uh, certain other uh, materials for that okay so you want to check that how uh, we can just apply that uh, so we can also see any one of this so if i just go for the smoke uh, double click on the smoke 
and you can just set the same thing for that also so you can just see this this is what we have different materials and we can assign that for the same uh, object as well so if you want the smoke to be assigned uh, you can also use that instead of this uh, use this in this material i can just use so m smoke sub uv that is the uh, thing which we have it so for this double click on this double click on this and uh, you want to apply certain material so let's search for that same material what we already have so it is m smoke underscore so inside the materials we need to search okay so let's see this if it is there uh, we can just uh, directly drag and drop so m underscore smoke yes it's capital so here it is not seen uh, i can take from there itself directly so let's see here it is not seen directly the material let's use from here itself this is what we have so let's see that so if it is there uh, we can just drag and drop so it should be there over here so we can just see that msu material is there so if i can find that it will be so physical material is there so let's search here uh, instead of this okay so let's see it is not showing up uh, inside this okay so we can apply that uh, material directly so uh, inside this particular object so we can also do the selection and i uh, can also apply uh, for that so this is one thing which you can uh, use that as an emitter so if you want to use any the other object inside the scene we can still add so is the particle gone okay so it is here So I need to save that material. So double click on this. I don't want this emitter over here. Uh, you can just select and delete that if you don't want and then save this again. Restart simulation. So now it is done. So we are come back to the same, uh, same uh, original uh, material now, whatever the texture was. Okay, so like this you have different, so if you just want to add certain smoke uh, into the scene, so if I just add some smoke also over here, if you want to add it some more smoke into the scene, we also have the smoke properties. So when you double click on that, it will uh, create that. So like this, we also have uh, Niagara material, which will be uh, good to add to the scene. So we'll just go through the basics of that. So if you just right click, here uh, we can just see that FX option and here we have something called uh, Niagara emitter. So if you want to see that we can just uh, click on that and it will ask for creating uh, that emitter over here. So you want to copy from the existing emitter or you want to create a new emitter. So if I just click on this copy from the existing emitter. So here we already have different types of emitter over here. So hanging particles. Uh, we have upward mesh burst, we have static beam, we have single looping particles, omni particles, omni burst, and we have the fountain. So, uh, like this, we have different uh, e examples of that. If you want to create a mesh arrays, you have different uh, uh, things over here, mesh behavior. So, I just want to go for the emitter templates and let's use something which is like fountain. So, I'll just use this finish and this is what we have this uh, material so name it as fountain p so it is saving the package whole thing so p underscore let's uh, make it some uh, name for that 
or n and s so this is the niagara particles uh, we are using so you can just name that n underscore so now if i just try to drag and drop it doesn't work over here uh, because we need to create a, a niagara system for that but you want to check the attribute of this double click on it and we'll be able to see the attribute of that over here so this is what it is uh, having different properties of that uh, material now i can just see so if you just double click on this on the right side you will be seeing that uh, attribute of that so so here so if you just want to see any of the attribute of this like initial particle uh, lifetime so i can just check that over here so close that and here we have this so if i just double click on that it will open all the niagara systems and this is the particle lifetime so how much time you want the particle to be alive so if you want less time you can just reduce this lifetime of that particle and then uh, you can just play so now you can just see that it is less uh, okay so it has reduced the lifetime of this particle so if you want to change the color of that you can just directly change the color of that over here itself press ok and uh, we can just see that in the real time base you can see the particles uh, over here uh, color is also changed uh, so this is this doesn't work like a sprite it works like with all the particles uh, itself so we can change the particle color directly we don't have to apply any kind of map for this uh, particular system inside this so if i just click on this save now let's close this and if you just right click over here and you need to create a niagara system so click on create niagara system and then you can drag and drop this okay so now we have this uh, kind of particles which is over here so until and unless you create the niagara system i cannot drag and drop this so again if you try to drag it doesn't work so you can need to create this niagara system then double click on this now we can uh, play around with all the properties of that over here so how you want the particle to be so gravity so if you want to control the gravity over here now it is up upward so you want to make it down you can adjust this so 90 now what will happen is uh, this is gravity is down uh, in negative direction it was there so i'm making in a positive direction uh, for that particle over here so all these properties of that so velocity is also there for this uh, particle so you can just see that there is certain velocity for this so if i just make this velocity to zero now if i just play that this is what we are getting this result now okay so now there is no uh, gravity for that and it is moving in this direction so you want to check the gravity force let's make even this zero and play that so there is certain force uh, uh, which is pulling that out so there is something called drag if i just make that also zero particle state so these are the external forces which are been applied uh, on the top of this so minimum maximum so this is zero so cone axis is zero cone angle also if i just make this zero minimum and maximum uh, value for the speed okay so this is constant so let's make it one by one and now what will happen is all the uh, there is no force for the particle and everything will form over here only okay so there is certain life span of the particle that's why it is uh, dying off so when i click on this uh, lifespan properties of that so it will change so here we have this different options so this is the lifetime of the particle so if you want it for a longer time i can just increase this lifespan for that over here so what will happen is the particle will be there for the longer time and add little bit of velocity for this so i can also add little bit of more velocity for this so it is minimum and maximum is one let's give 20 by 20 so i can see that so we are getting a different particle over here particle system which is like just give around 50 by 50 
so we'll get some kind of uh, a trail kind of system which is like this okay so we can keep on updating that over here so gravity force is totally zero so if i just make it minus 30 minus 980 so now it is going to go down so if i just play that okay so it is having certain gravity and it is uh, putting that down so if you increase this drag now or uh, if i just go to this add velocity so there is no velocity for this cone axis if i just make it 50 minus 50 you just check that what is that uh, velocity we required for that okay so this uh, we can change it so cone angle how much you want for this 90 degrees so i am just making this little spread for the particles when i adjust the cone angle so that's what uh, it will do over here so if you want to add some rotation also uh, we can also give some kind of rotation for this so these are the different properties of that object over here uh, inside this so if i just want to give randomly 50 x y z in all the axis Let's make it and then play that one okay so this is what we can uh, adjust for that uh, properties for this let's make it zero cone angle is fine gravity let's make the gravity to totally minus or just give 10 so it is like this okay so you can just see that how uh, we can adjust that properties of the emitters form uh, how much it is there this is the emitter properties and this is the properties of that okay so all these things uh, we need to adjust it uh, to get certain results so just start clicking on that and you see the different properties of that over here so here we have loop behavior so it keeps on repeating so if i just want to change that only once so what will happen is only one uh, one time it will do and it will go off so i don't want that to repeat uh, that's what it will happen over here and this is the loop duration so just make it 0.5 so now let's check that okay so some kind of spark you want to create over here so we don't want the lifespan to be that much duration over here so we can just reduce the uh, duration of that lifespan and i can just keep the duration fixed so uh, it keeps on doing that all so different properties of that uh, we can just check it so we have the spawn rate so how many number of particles uh, this should emit for particular time so that is what nothing but the spawn rate so if i just make it around 100 so we'll get more number of particles uh, for emission so if i just want to check that so that is nothing but the spawn rate over here so everything uh, we need to initialize that over here and so these are the different uh, properties for that particular uh, thing over here so sprite uh, you want in a uniform or random so if i just make it random so let's check that okay so the size of that also we can just change it so by default it is 10 if you want to change something now let's make it around 20 so that is the size of this sprite over here so 100 so let's play that okay so this is the size of that whole uh, object or sprites so how much you want to give if you want to make it two and then you want to check that over here so it is very small uh, particle size now so by default it will be 10 so we can just see certain particles 
so if there are very thin particles and all you want to show that we can also reduce the size of this uh, particle over here okay so by default uh, it is uh, lifetime mode also it is random if you want to set for particular time you can set it now within one second it will die off so this so this is a default constant time so if you want to change it to random time over here uh, we can change that into random time so minimum time and maximum time so each particle will die at a different timing over here so uh, some particle will die at point minus point uh, two or uh, some particle will die at after five seconds so if i make this to 10 or uh, let's make this to 50 and this to point zero 0.01 so what will happen is some particles will die quickly and some of the particles will die and it will take little longer time inside the scene so because the 50 is the lifespan of the particle so if i just make it 5 so after a certain time it will die off and it is fading out also nicely so this is what will happen with this particle uh, system so how it fades out over here so if you just save that uh, it will update all the things inside the scene so whatever the scene which we have it over here it will update inside the scene okay so since it is not repeating we are not able to see only once it will come and then uh, it will go so depending on the scene uh, it will go so let's go to this lifespan over here so let's stop this animation and here uh, so we can just see the different uh, properties of that so i'll just click on this emitter update and here we have life cycle so if i just make it so self is fine and i don't want it to be only once so if i give in infinite time so it keeps on doing uh, the same thing again and again let's play that So loop behavior is infinite, so it keeps on repeating uh, every 0.5 seconds or there. This is what we'll have uh, it over here. Okay, so we also have the scale color over here. So if I just click on the scale color now, so even that can be uh, changed from here so now it is so you can just see that if i just change that over here how it is uh, changing that whole curve over here so if i just want to adjust that so you can still uh, add something to it so if you just want to add some one more point over here so if i just want to increase add one more point just bring this down so I, I just want a different scale and here we have the graph also for that so we can adjust that or and uh, save that so once it is done save the whole thing close it and we have this particles inside the scene okay so we can also change the particle uh, shape uh, over here so once you come to this uh, properties of that update emitter so click on that and uh, we have different uh, option also over here so this is the life cycle so open that properties state of that over here and if I just go to this emitter state so it is emitting by itself uh, we can also change by system if you want to emit so particle size uh, now so this is the initial particle uh, how it should be so if you just want best uh, scale so if you want it to be uniform you can keep it uniform all the time or you want random uh, uniform you can also add that just go for 
uh, uniform. So you can just so let's play that. Now we have. Okay, so this is the uh, particle uh, thing over here. So if you want to make it point, uh, now at, at present it is in point. So you can just see this. This is what it is happening. So if I just want to go for sprite or you or go for certain kind of mesh uh, also over here. So we can also choose that uh, options inside. Okay, so if you just click it over here, you can just reset everything. Or you want to change anything, you can just change it in this place. Okay, so when I click on all, it will open all the whole properties of this object and now we can just see that everything is here. So, uh, shape. Now, shape also we have this. So, this is the shape of that which is sphere. Uh, and the radius is 8. So, if you want to increase the radius to 20. Let's make it of 20. Okay and the shape primitive what you want it uh, over here so how you want that so now it is emitting from a small sphere so if you just want to emit from a box so now uh, it will emit from certain box over here you can just see this so it is having certain box shape and it starts emitting from that box over here so what kind of here also it is box and here also it is box so you want a torus uh, shape so you can just see that it will go for and it is it will emit from that torus shape so if i just see from the top view so it tries to emit from the torus uh, shape so what you want so you want a ring disc cylinder so you want a cylindrical shape or cone you want to uh, emit so we can also emit from a spherical cone and now it is emitting from certain cone so we can see the shape of that cone over here uh, as it is seen Okay, so the cone length, how much you want for that? So that I can increase it. Uh, let's make this cone angle to little high. So now I can just see this is the cone angle. And we are seeing that over here. So it depends on what is the shape you want for that. So if you want a spherical shape, add a spherical shape over here. So if you want a uh, cone shape or ring shape, you can click on this ring and uh, just check that. So that is having this ring shape. And we get the particles in this ring form so if i want to play that now so you can just see this so ring radius how much you want that you can adjust it uh, how the particle so if you go for the velocity of that so if you want to adjust the velocity of this so it is now inside this if you want it in a linear way let's check that so now we can just see that how this particle are moving upwards and in a circular form. So that is because of this uh, property. If this is also zero and this is the speed of the particle and if I increase this particle to little more, let's make it around six. And we have the rotation mode. So at, at present we don't have any kind of rotation if I change it to axis, certain axis. And let's play that. So there is no velocity for that. Now uh, you will see this is what we are getting. Since there is no velocity, uh, we can just see how we are getting. If you want the particle to move towards right or left, you can also adjust this axis over here. So make it 2. Now play that. So rotation axis, how much you want uh, over here, rotation angle you want, how much, so if I just make it 90 degree for this rotation angle. So now we can just, so these are the different properties of that uh, particle, so velocity how much you want, I just make it 1. So it is less and this is in linear way, so if you want from certain point so now we are just giving from the certain point and now you can just see that how it is spreading from that point outside so this is from that point it is getting so uh, it is coming out from that point like certain kind of portal you want to create uh, over here so we get this kind of particles which is 
uh, I need to change this from from point over here. So if I increase this maximum value to 300, and this also to 300, so we'll get little bit of more uh, separation. Now you just see that. Okay. So if you make it around five by five, so now it will be more stick together. Let's make it 20 by 20. So little I just want, I don't want to break that. So we have certain things. Here. You can just see this, how uh, this will behave uh, over here inside this particular scene. Okay, so that depends on this how many particles we have uh, uh, what is the rate of the particle if I just make it around 5000 or 650 6500 I get little bit of more particles like this so that is the uh, range of the particles so if I make it 1000 let's make 1000 because that will be too much now we have this let's go to the first frame and now we see this uh, kind of effect which is over here so it is moving up uh, because of this uh, velocity so we need to adjust that velocity of that over here so if I go to the velocity and we have this uh, maximum velocity of that and how it is coming over here from this particular point okay so if you just go to the gravity force there is no gravity so you just make it minus 90 now you will see the gravity also it goes down so let's give minus 9.8 so that is the gravity will be there so now we can just see this is what we have okay so this is what we need to play around with this different properties of that so how uh, how is the radius of this now so this is the ring radius so how much you want this radius to be so now it is very small uh, over here so this is what the radius is so you can just change that over here to 10 100 to so get this and if you want to make this distribution random uh, now it is random over here so or uniform you can just make it uniform coverage for that and now you can just see this how we get a different result over here so spiral amount is one if I make it five so I get this kind of effect over here so let's play that and let's see this what we get at this place Now it you will get a spiral kind of thing which will uh, emit over here. So that is what the disk is. So we can just change it into that form. So if it is random, so you get like this. If it is direct, let's see that. Depending on the position of that and it is taking too much time uh, for this. Let's go for uniform. because it is becoming too heavy for my PC so save that and I'll just close this and now this is what we get over here so how these particles are coming into this E rotate that this E and just check that so lifespan and all these things if I just play around with that more so I'll be able to see how this uh, thing will look inside my scene okay, so make it proper 90 degrees so this is what we have so 
some kind of portal uh, which you want to make it you can just say that okay so there's a lot of things which you can uh, do with this uh, Niagara particles so I'll share some of more links for you to uh, go through more in detail about this okay so this is what we have uh, inside this particle system so uh, we just go through that so yeah anything anything you have to ask inside this no, sir. no? okay sir, uh, uh,